We have had uh, fusion, we have had pop, uh, Indian, uh, Pakistani, great groups coming together performing, rock music, that's really wonderful, uh, from the tides, uh, really good. And uh, I guess uh, there's just one genre that's not been covered at all, and that's Indian classical. And uh, that's, why, that's what I do. Uh, I've been learning this for 20 years, and uh, it's a pleasure for me to perform here for the uh, technically the second time, but publicly really the first time in Georgia Tech. Uh, so just a small introduction before I begin, because a lot of you I guess you might not be knowing much about Indian classical, and they've come here because I've told them to, so thank you for coming this one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Indian classical is really one of the oldest forms of music that exists on this world, and uh, now studied from the Vedas in 3000 BC something. So it's, it traces its roots there, and uh, it's a very uh, evolving form of music, I would say. Uh, because it's like like India has been always a melting pot of different cultures throughout the I mean throughout generations. So this music has also imbibed all those different cultures into it. So the rag that I'm going to play today, a rag is like a set of notes on which I will uh, uh, elaborate on uh, with time. So I'm going to play Nyanki Malhar today, and uh, this rag, I think in a word. Uh, it, it, uh, why I'm playing this is it, it is like a symbol of this international harmony in some sense because this is a rag which was uh, composed by uh, you know in the in the Mughal dynasty and it's a classic case of how Islamic music and the other forms of music are blended into Indian classical and uh, you know we are better off because of it it's really a really great melting point the instrument that I play is called the sarot this is not that old but this traces its roots to Afghanistan and Iran. It comes from the Rabab. A lot of you, my Pakistani friends, must have must know the Rabab. And uh, yep, thank you. And uh, the Rabab is a pretty ancient form of uh, an instrument. And it was brought to India by the traders from Afghanistan and Iran. And in India, then the, the legends of Indian classical music like uh, Baba Rabin Khan Sahab and uh, Hafiz Ali Khan Sahab, they they uh, changed this instrument into what is it today called the sarod. So, uh, Rag Miyagi Malhar, I will play it on 12 beats, which is called Ek Thal. That's why Srivant is here today with me uh, on the tabla, which will be accompanying me. So, I guess that's all. Yep, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
and just decrease the bass a bit and it's a bit too much. Uh, what I played was called uh, Aucha, it's a part of an alap, it's just an introduction to the raga, so right now I'm going to play in uh, Drut like that. Thank you. 